A very good morning to everyone. My name is Hua Ying. I am the MC of the opening ceremony. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to this fascinating occasion, the opening ceremony of Maths Festival 2021. I am happy to welcome honorable guests, Professor IRTS Dr. Vinish, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Asia Pacific University of Technology and Innovation, Dr. Raja Segaran, Head of School, School of Mathematics, Actual and Quantitative Studies, come patron, Maths Festival 2021. Mr. Muhammad Fahiru, Academic Leader, School of Mathematics, Actual and Quantitative Studies. Mr. Tan Kok Yang, Project Director, School of Mathematics, Actual and Quantitative Studies. Respected Head of Schools, dear academic leaders, dear program leaders, dear lecturers, my beloved friends, ladies and gentlemen. This maths event has been an annual event with multiple activities and maths competitions enjoyed by all APU students. This year is our second year conducting the event virtually due to pandemic. However, we hope all students can still interact and enjoy through the Maths Festival during this period of time. Without further ado, I call upon Ms. Chiwen, our student representative, to give her welcoming address. So a very good morning to all of you. My name is Chi Wen, and I'm a student representative for this math festival 2021. I welcome with respect honorable guests, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Vinish, respected head of school, Dr. Raja Sagaran, academic leader, Mr. Fahiro, and project director, Mr. Tan Kok Kiang of Asia Pacific University. I also welcome respected head of school, academic leaders, program leaders, my dear lecturers, dear friends, and everyone of you warmly and wholeheartedly to this Virtual Math Festival 2021. As you all know, APU is used to be very bustling with a variety of events and activities. It is a matter of great honor that School of Mathematics, Actual and Quantitative Study is organizing this math festival since 2019 and can organize it during this global pandemic. This is our second year of conducting math festival virtually. Mathematics is more than just numbers and formulas. It embraces logic and reasoning to resolve the complicated and interlocking issues. Many decisions made in the public or private sector rely to some extent on the use of mathematics. So mathematics is central to daily life. So here, I wish all the contestants the very best of luck on the competition and enjoy the fun in solving mathematics problem. Also, don't forget to appreciate the beauty of it. I thank you all again and would like to see you again in the closing ceremony in the coming Friday. I'll pass back the floor to our MC, Hua Ying. The floor is yours, Hua Ying. Thank you, Ms. Chiwen, for the welcoming address. Moving on, I would like to invite our Deputy Vice Chancellor of APU, Professor Dr. Vinish, to give his speech. Professor Vinish, the floor is yours. Thank you, uh, Hua Ying, uh, wonderful MC for this morning. Uh, good morning to one and all uh, to this wonderful Maths Festival uh, opening ceremony and, and a great uh, week for the Maths uh, Festival uh, in particular and also all the competitions within the, uh, uh, the festival itself and all the other events associated with the, uh, with the festival. Uh, I know for sure that this uh, festival has been running for uh, for uh, 
last year and this year. And I remember last year being on stage while all the students were online. Uh, and this year, we are, everyone's online. And it's uh, due to the current scenario. And we hope to be back in campus uh, very soon in the coming future. And God willing, we will all be together again uh, in, in, in the uh, spirit of education. Now, uh, having said that, I'd like to take this opportunity to show great appreciation to the School uh, of Mathematics and Quantitative Studies, uh, who have organized this uh, maths festival year in, year out. Uh, a big thank you to Dr. Raja, uh, who heads the school, and all the dedicated staff members, the academic staff members, who have uh, given their best uh, to fulfill the spirit of the, of the festival itself and all the students who have helped out in the organizing of this festival. Uh, this festival showcases that we have maths as a prominence in every single discipline uh, because I've been told there are over 700 participants and a lot of them are coming from other schools as well, other disciplines, other programs. And that's, that's a wonderful uh, thing to hear about. We've always given our support uh, in terms of management to the school and a lot of the activities that the school has been uh, planned out for the year. And this is the, I would say this is the mega event for the school uh, in terms of a, a, a school student-based activity. Now, having said that also, I've also been told that there are eight mathematical uh, related games that we conducted this week. And on top of that, there is the Wheel of Names, uh, which will be conducted during the opening ceremony. So, uh, and also the, uh, the most liked Instagram photo. Uh, I, I like all of this because they're all very interactive and um, the best way uh, to bring people together uh, is have events and activities as such. So I wish everyone the best of luck uh, for this week. And I am very confident that this festival will be run at the optimum best. And you will learn something at the end of the day and also have the experience of being associated with the Maths Festival APU 2021. Thank you and enjoy the week. Stay safe, everyone. Okay, back to you, Hoi. Thank you, Professor Vinesh, for the enlightening speech. Next up, we would like to take everyone down the memory lane. Enjoy the video. Thank you. 
Now let us proceed to the lucky draw sessions that everyone has been awaiting for. So are you ready? Now, before studying the Wheel of Names, here are some instructions for the game. First, we will start by spinning a wheel and pick a random name. Once your name is chosen, you will need to type your name, TP number in the chat box in the comment sections. So for example, John TP000007. You will be asked to answer a question. You have two minutes to answer the questions. If the answer is wrong, the same questions will be given to another student. If the answer is still wrong, a different question will be given to another student. All right, I hope everyone is clear and ready with your name and TP number in the chat box now. So when your names appear, you can just press enter. So if everyone is ready, Let's spin the wheel of names. Let's see who will be our first lucky winner. So let's spin it. Well, okay, well, we are waiting for the first name. For info. Okay, let's see. Okay, Kwan Kai Sian, we have our first lucky winner. If you are here, please answer in the chat box with your name and TP number if you're here. Is Chan Kai Xian here? All right, we'll wait for one minute for him to answer. If he's not here, we will proceed with another person, all right? Okay, for your information, all participants' names are registered in the wheel. So everyone stands a chance to win the prize. So if you know Chan Kai Xian, please tell him he's, he's chosen here. If he's interested, please come and join us. All right, we'll wait for the time to pass now. Um, so we have a variety of gift voucher to be given. And if later you win the prize, our committee will directly contact you through Teams if you have won the prize, okay, later. We have Tea Life, um, Secret to Be, Baskin Robin, Sushi King, Grab, and even Touch and Go e-wallet. So do not miss out your chance now, okay? So it's Chan Kai Xin here. All right, one minute has passed. We will spin the wheel for another person. All right. Let's see who will be our next lucky. Hyojin Jie. Hyojin Jie, are you here? Please answer in the chat box. We have name and TP number. If you are here. Hyojin Jie. All right, we wait for one minute again for him to show up. So if anyone knew Kyujin J, please contact him, ask him to join us now. 
Okay, Q Jun Jie is here. Jun Jie, are you ready? Let's head to our first question and kickstart our game, okay? So for our first question, let's see what we have. Oh, there. A lot of triangles here, right? Okay, so based on the picture above, based on the picture on the screen, how many, how many triangles do you see in the picture? There are five options, 9, 12, 10, 11, or 13. So let's count together. How, how many can you see? So Q Jun Jie, can you answer? Oh, Chan Kai Sen just appeared now. Sorry, <laughs> your name has passed. Sorry. All right, Q Jun Jie, can you answer this? Jin, yes, I can see there's a upper part of the triangle and lower part of the triangle. So if you just see like that, there might be just nine small triangle in that, but there might be a, a possibility of enlargement. So just comment your answer in the uh, comment section below, right? Yes, 13, congratulations. Our committee will contact you for your prize. So just wait for our committee to contact you, yeah? All right, let's head to our, let's select our next lucky draw winner. Let's go. All right, let's see, let's see. Prepare your name and TP number. Might be you, all right? Chasini, Chasini, have you pressed enter? Yes, it's Chasini here. If you're here, please uh, respond with your name and TP number right now. Okay, we'll wait for one minute for Chasini, okay? We have a variety of gift voucher to be given, so do not miss out a chance. Please stay online and prepare with your name and TP number in the chat box so you will you can just press enter when your name comes up, okay? Congratulations. All right, all right. Okay, we wait for one minute, right? Mm. Okay. Hmm. So if anyone knows trusting me, please tell her she's on now so she did not miss out the chance. We are just we are now uh always we are always keep 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 an eye on the comment sections. All right. Trusting me. Are you there? Okay, we have a uh, I repeat, we have a lot of prize, tea lives, uh, secret recipe, basket robin, so she can grab anyone, tea and go e wallet, so do not miss out your chance, all right? So now, I guess uh, one minute has passed now, so we'll spin the wheel again for another lucky student. All right. Sorry to me. <laughs> All right, let's see who will be our next person. Okay, Hachana. Hachana, are you here? If you are here, please comment the, uh, your TP number and name, no matter you are in, uh, live in watching us from uh, Facebook or YouTube. It's okay. Just comment. And all right, Hachana is here. So your TP is TP065424. All right. Hi, Hachana. Let's head to our questions too. So what questions is it? Oh, there's a frog here. All right. A frog starts climbing a 30 feet wall. Wow, this is a strong frog. So each hour he climbs three feet and slips back too. How many hours does it take for him to reach the top? So how many hours, Hachana, can you tell us? Can you tell us in the comment sections? So this might be a... A tricky one. You have two minutes. Take your time. All right. All right. If we think of it, this 
Wow, it climb the frog is climbing for hours, so it might be a this frog has a good stamina, I guess. <laughs> Do you guys like frog? I I didn't quite like it because it would be scary, right? If the frog climb up to your room <laughs> for thirty feet. Okay, Hachana, if you get the answer, you can just answer in the comment section. All right. So. Um, 30 seconds has passed now. Thirty hours. Let's see if thirty hours is the correct answer. Oh no. Okay. Sorry, it's not the correct answer. I guess we need to give these questions to another students. All right. Let's head back to the wheel. Never mind. You have a, you will get the next chance, okay? Uh, let's spin. All right, no. Okay, Wang Jin Chen. Wang Jin Chen, are you here? Are you ready for our questions too? Oh, James Burns say, having a frog in your shoe isn't the best way to start your morning. Exactly, we'll be. Next year, and you might be late for school <laughs> because of trauma from the frog, right? Okay. And Wong Chin Chen, are you here? If you're here, please reply with your name and TP number in the chat box. We're waiting for you. We'll be wait uh, for one minute from now. So please answer if you're here. Wong Chin Chen. Okay. Um everyone in the in a in the live now, please uh prepare your name and TP number. So next time when your names come out, just press enter, right? Mm. So okay, one minute has passed. So unfortunately he's not here, he missed out the game. All right, let's spin the wheel again and see who will be our Next coffee minute. So you can count the questions that just now. Okay. Okay, Li Dong Shen. Is Li Dong Shen here? All right, please answer in the chat comment sections with your name and TP number if you're here. So Yes. No one's what no one want to answer the frog questions. The frog is feeling lonely there now. <laughs> okay, Lido Shen is here. That uh well, well fantastic. Uh let's head to our questions too again. Let's see. Okay. Uh Dong Shen, look at these questions. A frog starts climbing a 30 feet wall. This is a strong frog, all right. Each hour he climbs three feet and slips back two. Poor, poor. So Pidin. So how many hours does it does it take for him to reach the top? Can I have your answer? So you have two minutes from now. Twenty seven. Yeah. Um. That's close, but uh, sorry, that's not the correct answer. So the correct answer is twenty eight hours. So he's been climbing more than twenty four hours. Yeah. Uh. For pity him so i hope he get take a rest in between all right let's head uh head back to our wheel to find our next students yes 28 from the pre yes uh we have our students here himana 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 are you here Sorry if I pronounce the name not quite correctly, all right. Uh Himana. If any anyone know her, please uh please contact her, ask her to reply, right? We are waiting for you, Himana. So we will uh wait for waiting for him, sorry. <laughs> uh we will wait for uh one minute, okay?
All right, uh, everyone. So we are waiting for Himana for one minute now. I guess it's almost time. Okay. So everyone names is on the on the on the on the view, right? So you do not uh, don't give up, don't 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 drop the line, okay? You might stand a chance to win. Okay, final ten seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, uh, she's, he's not here, so unfortunately. Next, uh, we'll spin the wheel again and find next students. Yeah. Go, go. Let's see who will be our next students. Prepare for questions three, all right? Refer your name and TP number. Nabiha, Nabiha, are you here? Nabiha, if you hear, please reply with your name and TP number in the chat box. We do, right? I guess we we'll need to wait. Uh, we we'll wait for one minute again. Oh, Nabiha is here. Uh, can I have your TP number? Nabiha? Yes, I see you. Okay, Nabiha, TP062046. All right. Okay, thank you for thank you for replying. Uh, thank you for responding. Okay, fantastic. Let's head to our third questions. So what will be okay for our third questions? We have 230 minus 230 times 0 0.5 equals to equals to. So there is a statement of the answer below. Is the statement true? or false? So Nabiha, this is quite a tricky question. Everyone can try. Is it true or false? So we have two minutes to answer these questions, right? Take your time. It's a, it's a simple but tricky one. At first, I also, I also didn't get it, didn't quite get it, okay? I believe you can do it, Nabiha. False. All right, I already give you an alert. It's a tricky question, all right. Uh, actually, it's true. All right, since the, why? Because 200, first you need to do the times uh, multiplication first, right? So 220 times 0 0.5, 110. 230 minus 110 equals to 120, which is the answer is 5 factorial. 5 factorial is equals to 120. So this is a tricky, quite, quite tricky one. So we're not going to give these questions to another student because obviously, obviously we know it's true, right? So, uh, so we'll go to questions four and we'll go back to our, our, no, no, 10, 10 times uh, 0 0.5 is wrong. You need to do the time uh, multiplication first, only do the uh, subtraction, all right? Uh, according to the maths uh, rule, all right? Um, let's spin the wheel again for our, Next student. Yes, Bong Hong, it's true. All right, we have another student here, Sue Suesha. Suesha. Yes, Kevin, it's five factorial. Yes, yes, guys. All right, uh, Suesha. Are you here? Suesha, if you're here, please answer with your name and TP number, all right? We're waiting for you for one minute, all right? So there's a lot of prize waiting for everyone to get, and there's a quite challenging quiz and questions. So if you are excited, if you are Curious about it, please don't miss out, all right? It might be your chance, and you can try out all the questions during uh, our sessions, all right? Okay, Suesha, are you here? Mm. 
So uh, as just now we say we wait for one minute, uh, starting from now, just now. Eh? Okay. So Suvesha, if you are here, please reply with your name and TP number. Okay, we have we see. Let's see. Okay, final ten seconds for Shuvesha to answer. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Shuvesha, five, four, three, two, and one. So unfortunately, she's not here again. Uh, she, she's not here too. All right. Uh, spin the wheel again for the next person. Right. Prepare your name and TP number now. Let's see. Fu Wing Zim. Oh, great. Let's see. Is Fu Wing Zim here? Fu Wing Zim. I guess she's having class now. It's actually my classmate. <laughs> we wait for one minute. No matter what. All right. So, if you have won a prize, if I have not uh, listened properly. Oh, yeah, Pu is here. All right, she's here. Pu Wang Zim. Okay, the TP number is, oh, your TP number is quite uh, rep repetitive. Okay, next, no problem. Uh, we'll go to our uh, questions. Let's go. Question four. Oh, there's a lot of picture. There's a lot of uh, picture here, see? So, there's a two goals equal to 20. And there's one girl and one girl. I bet the I hope the girl is not scared of it. All right, there's uh because it's 14, and there's a very um sunny day. Sunny day with a girl and two sons equals to eight. And then there's a ghost, a son, and a girl. So what is the final answer? Can you give me the final answer, Wingzim? Yes, this is nice TP number. So uh, is someone giving out the answer? <laughs> is it true? Yes, Pooh. 16. 16 is the correct answer. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. Our committee will contact you. All right. Next, head back to our view for our next students. So prepare your name and TP number again, right? No. Let's see. All right, Chan, Chan Pei Jie. Chan Pei Jie, are you here? So, so far we have two winners now. We only have two winners now. So, uh, ready? You have, you have a lot of chance here. So Chan Pei Jie, if you're here, please reply with your name and TP number. All right, we'll wait for one minute. All right, I think all oh, Pei Jie is answering from YouTube. All right, hi Pei Jie. So let's head to our questions. Pei Jie, ready with your paper and pens for the answer. All right, so questions five, we have an equation here, all right? 2 to the power of 16 divided by 16 to the power of 2 equals to 2 to the power of 2x. So apparently, we need to find our x. Do you have an x, Paige? <laughs> okay, so. All right, uh, can you find an x? So let's see. So we need to, I think the easiest way is to get the power of the two, uh, of the Two to the power of something, and then you equate with the two s, right? So let's see, Paige, can we have your answer? You can. You have two minutes to answer these questions, right? Let's find your x. All right, four. Yes, four is the correct answer. That's quick. All right. Uh, congratulations. Let's head back to our. Yes, it is answer is four. All right. Let's head back to our. Um, Wheel and spin. Let's spin the wheel.
Okay, this will be our last question. So, Huai Chen, Huai Chen, are you here? So, Huai Chen, if you are here, please answer in the chat box with a name and TP number. We wait for one minute for Huai Chen to answer. If anyone, anyone, like uh, anyone know her, everyone, anyone can contact her, please ask her to come here now. She has a chance. Okay, Huai Chen is here. Huai Chen? Uh, what? Same you? You say, wait, what? <laughs> All right, Huai Chen. Uh, okay, let's head to our question six. Oh, Samuel, not two. All right, question six. We have eight equals to 56, seven equals to 42, six equal to 30, five equals to 20, three equals to what? So I can see there's a pattern here. So Hwai Chen, can you give us the answer, the final answer? Three will equate to what? Right, this will be our last question. So six, it's six, the correct answer. Yes, six is the correct answer. Congratulations, Hai Chen. Thank you for being our final winners. So so uh, let's see, we are, we are waiting for. So this will be our last questions, right? Making me questions, maths. <laughs> or oh, sorry. Never mind. You can you can try on your own. All right. We have the we have the correct answer here. Thank you, Samuel. Okay, in the comment section. So yes, we have ten questions. Uh, wait for a minute. Uh. Okay, congratulations to all Lucky Draw winners. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you everyone for being here today. So hope everyone can enjoy and explore the fun of maths together during the week of maths festival. We wish you all the best for your game. May the strongest win, have fun, and we'll see you again during closing ceremony. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye. That's all. <laughs>